Geominax presents latest technology groundwater detector Nano 600. As per the topography and geomorphology of the terrain the groundwater survey is carried out. The equipment is powered with geomagnetic resonance system, where the frequencies are displayed in BH1, BH2, BH3. We follow the maximum frequency axis to find the direction of the fractured zone, once we cross the fault zone the antenna revolves back to alert we haste cross the target. Once the antenna rotates we check the next adjacent axis in the next quadrant until the antenna rotates back. The same process is repeated around the target until the antenna points the target in all the four direction from north, east, west and south. Once the receiver antenna targets the point in all four direction, the target is decided based on the geomagnetic sensing value. The BH values are generated as per the hysteresis caused due to the fractures and aquifers in the ground. Now the antenna's length is decreased, so that the system can sense the target at the nearest point, and the system is moved towards the target on the right axis as per the frequencies received. When the system is placed on the target the antenna starts rotating in 360 degrees to denote we have reached the target, the geomagnetic frequency from the ground is directly received to the system when we are on the target point. Once the ground potential is conformed by the rotation of the antenna, we look into the increased frequency readings generated on the screen in BH1, BH2, BH3. Once the target is conformed based on the rotation of the antenna and increase in frequency, we step into the next step of secondary axis detection where the antenna should be extended again and by rotating in clockwise or anti-clockwise to detect the increase in BH1 values. We follow the axis where BHI values are increased on the same axis without changing the direction. The antenna rotates back when the secondary axis has been reached. In the same method we need to go back to the target and sense the secondary axis to where the frequency readings in BH3 is increased. The axis is followed till the antenna rotates back. Once both the axis are conformed the measurement is taken using a measurement tape from the target to the secondary axis zone in meters to calculate the depth from the surface to the first fracture. In the same way the measurement is taken from the target to the secondary axis to which is identified on BH3 axis, to calculate the depth from the surface to the second fracture. Based on the average of the distance in between secondary axis 1 and 2 the total borehole depth is automatically calculated. The depth calculation system is inbuilt with GPS system which can provide the source 1, source 2, and the total bore well depth and can also provide the GPS coordinate of the particular site. Two probes are installed in the ground parallel to each other to sense the condition of the soil to adopt the equivalent technical formula for depth calculation. The probes are connected with the frequency transfer cable one to the potential probe and one to the frequency probe. The transmission is received in the potential probe from the natural earth's magnetic field when initialized. Once the depth calculation system is turned on the system automatically starts loading and checks the coordinates in request for secondary axis one measurement. We input the measurement taken from the target to the secondary axis 1 and followed by the input it requests for the input of secondary axis 2 measurement. After initializing the data are received in feet, S1 representing source 1, 
S2 representing source 2 and finally the average of the measurements in TBD which describes the total borehole depth to be drilled. S1 describes the depth from the surface to the first fracture or aquifer in the ground, S2 describes the depth from the surface to the second fracture or aquifer in the ground, finally TBD describes the total borehole depth to be drilled. The GPS positioning system is now turned on by logging the button so that it communicates with the satellite and provides the precise latitude and longitude of the target location for further GI study or for marking the point. The target is drilled successfully according to the nano report by following the S1, S2 and the total borehole depth measurement. More more info on nano water detector visit www.geominax.com